Uh, and Mahalu, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Yay. Okay, well, let's get into it. So, um, let's jump into this house. So, with the update, there's been several things. There was also a live stream that they did. Uh, I wish they said more in the live stream. I felt like it was... Um, I think that they could have gone into a lot more things. Um, but in saying that, I think they did do a really good job being live in front of so many people. Um, cause you gotta remember that the sim gurus who go on those live streams, their jobs aren't to be streamers and YouTubers. Their jobs are they make games. So, <laughs> which often attracts people who are more introverted. So I always like, I think, you know, well done for them for getting on the live stream and doing it. Cause it's pretty intimidating when there's like 8,000, 10,000 people watching. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, KitKat, thank you for gifting a sub as well. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And Jen Johns. So, oh. Wait, oh no, I have mods enabled. Okay, that's not, I thought I disabled the mods, whoops. That's all good. Okay, I need to restart my game real quick because uh, we don't want mods interfering with this. That's so weird, I swear I'd turn them off. Maybe I didn't press save. Maybe that's what happened, you guys. Um, but yeah, there are quite a few changes. There's a few things for us to talk about. There's a little bit of tea. I think they might have made a few leaks um, accidentally. Oops, um, that they weren't meant to. Because people like, you can't hide anything from Sims fans. They will find the smallest changes. <laughs> There are always leaks. I know, but these were like... Interesting leaks. I don't know. Anita Pop, thank you so much for the one month. And Kit Kat, thanks for gifting out a sub. Wait, what did they do? Well, number one, they... This might have been deliberate, but they leaked um, that there's new hair swatches coming. Like, there's more hair swatches. Not that many more, but there's definitely more blacks and browns, which is great because I feel like with all of this um, diversity, they've updated or well, updated the game to include. It's kind of like you really need the hair colors as well because the one black tone isn't dark enough um, for a lot of people. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, that was a bit interesting, and then. I think they've also leaked another personality trait, maybe like another box that I saw. Uh, and then there was another leak, what was it? Oh yeah, I think there's like some extra options in the build, in the buy menu on a few items as well. So that's curious. Choo choo, yay! Thank you guys so much. How cute is that little hypo? I love it. Um, but anyway, we can, we can check all of that out in just a second. So let's jump into game and I'll show you guys the new stuff. So there is this new hair, which is great. Um, I appreciate the fade a lot. I think the fade looks really good, uh, especially at the back on the neckline. It's pretty awesome. And of course you can get it on your toddlers as well. So there's a new hair. Then there's also, oh, maybe it's not a new hair. Is it an updated hair? I get confused with whether it's a new one or just updated. Um, you're going to the toilet with me, guys? That's so nice, Amy. And then this hair, I love this because just the hairline is so beautifully done. I love it, um, the detail. And you just, we just never saw this in the base game. Hi. Hi, it's me. Hi, James. Hi, pal. Like, you look at these hairlines. <laughs> Obviously, like, this isn't the same texture of hair, but even still, you can see how much more 
detailed this is and beautiful this is. I think it looks really good. Hi, Joms. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Now, apparently, they've also updated some of the actions your sims do depending on their traits. So this was something that was very vague in the live stream and in the patch notes. Like, I don't really understand it. Um, but apparently, like, for example, they used the bookworm that their fun while reading will go really high up. So that makes sense. So I guess they've tweaked a few things. Um, Clumsy was another one. They've listed them. So there was that. Uh, and they also teased a new hairstyle too. So I feel like... I'm just going to get Twitter up to show you guys. Um, and then in terms of bunk beds, I'm just going to give them a quick little sneaky mother load and move them out of this house. Let's, um, because I'm thinking we build like a cute, like holiday home for them using bunk beds. Hey, little Dicker, what's up? They teased new hair colors. I know. I was trying to figure out if it was a leak or not. I feel like they knew the hair swatches were there and that was a bit of fun, but I didn't know if they meant to show the other stuff. I feel like it was an oopsie doopsie. I think it was a bit of an oopsie doopsie. I think it's because it's like, I, well, it looked like they were streaming from home, so they were probably just using the build that they normally work on. And I was like, oops, it's newer than the old one. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was an oopsie doopsie too. What do you guys think? Now it was 100% intentional, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it wasn't. They, I think they, if it was intentional, I mean, no, I don't, I don't think it was. If it was intentional, I think they would have mentioned something. Like maybe not directly, but in like. You should turn on your mic. Nah. Maybe we want but, to hear um, your voice. Yeah, I think they would have like mentioned something verbally too, even if it was just like, oh, there might be some other things. Yeah. Or, you know, just, like, I feel like they always do like the f deliberate awkward, like, oh, yeah, I yeah. better not show you this, or they make it more obvious. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I'd love to know. But I feel like they should just tell us now then, because it's already leaked. So. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, and this. Um, so let's have a look at these bunk beds, just so you guys can check it out. So I'll just put a door on here. la di da So, checking out the new bunk beds we have in the bed category. Here they are! We've got a Mod Pod top bunk, and a metal framed top bunk and bunk bed, as well as the Mod Pod bunk bed. Why do I have so much trouble saying that? <laughs> Mod Pod. Mod Pod, Mod Pod. Try and say that 20 times, no, 10 times really quickly. Mod Pod, 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 Whoa, 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 that's really hard. Hey, it's... Juju Magumbo! Jumbo edition. Now there's also this interesting thing over here, which is auto bunk bed option. And my understanding is if you have it turned off, and you get a bed with double ladders and you put it against the wall. Um, that other ladder will remain. But if you turn it on and you place this against the wall, that other ladder automatically disappears. Which I think was a ni was nice attention to detail because they could have easily just been like, oh, we'll just kind of leave it in. Um, but I'm glad that they did that. I guess also it might have confused sim routing. I don't know. So yeah, there's that one, uh, and then there's the metal frame. Which one do you guys like better? Can you also click on the bed swatches? Uh, yes. So yeah, here are the different bed swatches. Oh yeah, how that bed is like originally from, was it Parenthood? Uh, and now it's just base game. It's like, hmm. Mm. Interesting choice. I didn't, yeah. realize, I didn't realize that at first, but people pointed that out. I guess... Yeah. I mean, technically it's a new item, but it's... But the single the bed, covers. the bottom one is base game now, because it used to be Paranoid, didn't it? Uh, no. I thought, of, oh, is it, or is it just like cloned and they added no, another one? I think it's slightly different. Where's Paranoid? Oh! Oh. People were saying that was from, I don't actually know, but people were saying that that was from Parenthood. 
I don't know if that's true. That's just what the comments were saying. I think it was from Parenthood. Uh, Simplicity said, I mean, it's one bed from an entire pack that's years old, so I don't think it's a big deal. Mm, it was... I just, I don't think that you should be taking things from other packs. No, especially after you've bought it. And then, like, I know we still have it, but it's like, I bought, it was in that pack. And then they've just taken it out. The, like, the problem with that is because people, like, might have bought that pack for that bed. And spent money Which, on I mean, it when they could have uh, waited. Unlikely, but I mean, very unlikely. It's a slippery but, slope you know, for something. And they've done it before. With like, didn't they do that with some like cast items before as well, like move jackets or something? Yeah, they did it with the get like, famous I feel like they jacket. They should not be taking stuff out of other packs and putting it in base game. Like, yeah, it seem like a thing they should do. I I think it's a slippery slope. Personally, I'm not offended, but I know that You're other people would be make a new bed. Like, is it that hard? <laughs> I have to do the whole frame for the bunk bed. You might as well just make it in bed. Yeah, I think it should just have a new Duna cover. And plus, it's not like like we could do with some new Duna covers. <laughs> so, yeah, I think you have a point, James. I, no, I mean, it wasn't my point. It was, it was comments that were saying that. I think you I have a point. Much. I agree very much so. Um, the other thing was... See, I thought when I saw it in the trailer, I thought they might have dual swatches, which I got excited about. But then I was like, oh, probably not, because then I'd have to do like every single item. Um, but this bed just, it just, it just, just, what am I saying? It just slips in underneath. I like that. Um, but the only issue I have with this is that if you, like, you can only have a couple of colors that match mm. the frame. I, it'd be nice if the top one could also be removed and then you have the frame separate. Yeah. That would have been ideal, because then you have like the basic frame and then you put any beds top and bottom in there. I think that would have looked messy though, having like a naked frame that you have to kind of put together like a jigsaw. But they can still have it like that in the catalog. They already have one that comes out with two beds. Oh, but you mean you could remove yeah. it? Or you could just leave it how it is. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, that would have been nice. I personally think it would have been a little fidgety. Why would that be worse than what it is now? Yeah, I just think they should have added more swatches. I mean, the that bed too. frame. That's all. <laughs> that's um, really like, because cool. there's all this room here, they could have just done more. Anyway, but then again, that gets more messy as well. It's just I know what would fix all of it, and that would be a color wheel. I really didn't need to use that effect. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying a color wheel would make things very simple. <laughs> yeah, especially if they're like, because I said in the live stream for many, many years to come, or many more years to come, it's like, if we got that many years left, let's just bite the bullet and <laughs> do a color wheel. Yeah. It's the tea. But anyway, these are the bunk beds. Let's have a look at the animation. Also, they did say, um... They said something like, I'm going to get a few of the, the sims going up here. I think, oh, oh, wait, let's appreciate the animation. Is he talking to the bunk bed? Oh, look at that. Look at these puppies going into bed. I love how they crawl across the top, just like you would in real life. And the kids getting up. Woo, that's exciting crawl across and yeah bunk beds are finally here yay yeah they're pretty good like i like the way they work like that that's really nice um and another interesting thing that i didn't test is i don't believe wall heights change them at all no <laughs> can you imagine if they went boop <laughs> i don't know i just thought i better check like it goes up and then adds like a third layer to it <laughs> you get like three then four <laughs> <laughs> um although i did get him out of the bed which is interesting. Also, for those of you guys who have Bust the Dust Pack, they have updated um, the dust level, like how quickly it accumulates. And uh, it's, it'll be slower. Okay, even quicker. <laughs> and it's, it's quicker. You'll get more dust. No, no, no. How cute is that? I just want to watch it go up and down again. There's also the new option to relax on a bed and watch the TV. Very cool. I would have liked them to be able to read as well. Yeah, it seems weird that they can't do that. They should also be able to use their laptop doing it instead of relaxing. 
Yeah. It does, it does feel a bit restrictive. I think the longer the life cycle is of The Sims 4, probably the more restricted players feel. Um, but yeah, you can relax. So that's cool. Yeah, they. I hope they re they add like the laptop and the reading. That would be really cool. But I suppose animation wise, it probably involves new animations for kids and adult heights. So that's cool. Got some sweet as bunk beds. Um, so yeah, bust the dust pack. Dust won't come up as quickly. Um, and also in the next update of the, I think it was in the next patch coming, they are working on fixing how much money you make from it. Um, that does not look relaxing, <laughs> I don't reckon. Just kind of slouching. Now, what people were a little bit upset about, because you know, bunk beds, people have been waiting for them for a long time. They're very excited about them. At this stage, you cannot put any objects underneath them without the move objects on cheat. So naturally you can put beds underneath, but you can't put an object under there. Uh, I don't think, can you put plants under there? I don't think you can even put a plant under there, um, which is kind of, Hopefully, surprising yeah that's really annoying but hopefully later on they can because i mean they specifically said first iteration yeah i think the wording but i just hope they do it that sooner rather soon. than later like they don't leave it for a few years yeah i think the fact that they said it though probably means it's not too far off i don't know hopefully. just speculating um with the move of oh, look, with the move objects on sheet you can put items underneath so you can have a couch and can for example, on. she'll be able to sit on the couch, you know, that's good. But if he <laughs> wants to go to sleep, he can't actually get up there. So uh, that's the same with a desk. However, I believe we can put, oh, bye James. He just yeeted <laughs> randomly. I believe we can use one tile though. So let's see if we can actually, let's do a little experiment and see if we can, you know, have a Sim use the computer while another Sim gets into bed. Okay, stop looking at your kid. I know the kid's really cute. Oh, she's gonna, okay, she's cleaning. Let's just get you to sit there, please. And let's see if he can get up while she's, okay. So this tile works. So, I mean, that's a start, but I am curious as I would, I am curious to see why the other tile couldn't work. I suppose it's to do with the ladder. Um, so yeah, a few people were upset about that. Now I'm seeing in the chat that apparently you can put a toddler bed underneath. So let's try that. Um, that would, that's cool. Let's see. Um, well, Oh yeah, yeah, it does clip in. So, oh, it doesn't really go with the bed though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can make the bed really, like, I don't like how there's this. Can we use a different toddler bed? I mean, you could use this one, that's better. Or the racing car. Actually, the racing car looks really cute under there. Maybe that's the trick. But yeah, I think we will be getting more bunk beds pretty soon. By their wording, it sounded like that. So let's just double check that this works. Um, would it have been nice if they added a matching toddler bed? Yeah, that would have been a nice addition. Yes, they can read under the covers on the beds. That is true. So let's actually try that. Let's read under the covers and I'll show you guys that anim animation. But look, you can have your toddler and your kid. How cute is that? That looks, that looks really cute. And then this is what happens when they read under bed, under the covers of their bed, under the bed covers. God, that took a while. <laughs> and then they get the gorgeous little thought bubble animations, which I love. Super cute. Was that from Parenthood too? Or one of the kids stuff packs, they introduced that at the, at around the same time. 
So yeah, there's a bunk bed. Nice. Uh, at least you can get a desk in when doing a tiny or micro home. Yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah, they do gain the skill from reading while under, under the bed. So that's good. Under the covers. Under the bed covers. <laughs> Um, so look, in terms of the design of the beds, I think they're a really nice, uh, basic design. I like how they have the two versions. So you have the wood version or you have the simple metal version. And I suppose they drew the inspiration from the parenthood pack for the metal version. Um, I would probably say that they should be really cautious about reusing um, beds from other packs and take them out of packs and make them base game because it does upset people, I think. So I don't know. And I would have personally just liked to see some more bed covers. <laughs> that would have been good. I would have liked another bed, you know, why not? Um, so that's probably my feedback for bunk beds, but I think they're on the right track and I'm excited to get some more exciting designs. But um, yeah, so that's cool. Now, what I'm actually probably more excited about is uh, another update, which I mentioned earlier in the stream. Um, oh, I'd love to see like double bunk beds too. So the other update that I am loving is a lot of these base game posters. Uh, oh, I think the zombie one. But a lot of these posters um, don't really show any diversity. And what's really nice is they've actually changed a few of these posters and frames. I'll just get them out to show more um, ethnicities, which I think is really, really nice. And it just made me really happy to see because even though I feel like I'm like the color of my skin's represented in these in these pictures, I, I feel like I, I f it's sad when someone's represented more than other people. So it really warms my heart to be able to show you guys that, you know, we've got some more diversity. Let's scroll through these. Um, so that's that's really cool. And Jerry here. Oh yeah, I forgot the portrait of marriage. Jerry now has many different Jerry's. Jerryettes. Jerome's. How cool is this? Love it. Pretty cool. <laughs> James is stoked about the Jerry's, yeah. And yeah, more cultures represented, which is great. Um, yeah, some different space spacecraft ladies. And then, oh yeah, this is probably my favorite one, actually. You, you guys are gonna love this if you haven't seen it. Um, we have a gay couple being represented here. Love this. This is so cute. Oh. And a lesbian couple, maybe? I'm not sure if that's I, I don't know enough en enough about the culture if that's a scene of marriage or I'm not sure you guys can tell me. But yeah, it's so good. It's really nice to see. Some Indian representation, Asian representation. We love to see it. So I was just really, really happy and my heart felt warmed to see this. And I think it was a really nice thing that they, that they did. And I hope to see more of it. So yeah, that, I'm actually more excited about this than the bunk beds, which is kind of crazy. Like the bunk beds are awesome, but this just kind of made my heart dance more, I suppose. Um, not to mention, like they're just cool pictures. I like having more pictures in the game too. The red outfit is for weddings. Ah, okay. So it probably is a wedding. Oh, that's really nice. You're so welcome, Charlie Parsley. Hmm. Oh yeah, true Jarrett, of course, because the item name is, oh, I'm so silly. The item name is literally like portrait of a marriage. So clearly they're married. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> Love that. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's that. I'm just trying to think, did I miss anything from the update? I'm just gonna check my notes again. I will have a video coming out soon as well. Um, so that'll come out in a little while. Kids hair and pictures of Jerry. Oh yeah, normalized everyday activities. That's another one. So apparently activities are a bit more normalized. They don't take as long to do. Like you know how it would take your sim ages to get ready before work. Well, apparently now it's a lot quicker. So I'll show you guys. Just quickly build a bathroom. So we'll just do a glass door on the bathroom. You know, this this family is pretty open. <laughs> I would I would die if it was my family, but you know what? This family, they, they don't care. They're all about the glass doors. Okay, there we go. So say if my sim here, Alicia, is getting ready for work. She needs to take a shower. She needs to use the toilet. She needs to also cook some... I don't know, fruit, uh, fruit salad is pretty quick. Oh, uh, actually, maybe just having a quick meal. We'll see how long it takes for her to eat some cereal. So anyway, she's in the shower. If we speed it up, I mean, I already think that was a lot quicker than usual. Pretty speedy. And then to eat a bowl of cereal, how long is that going to take? Oh, okay, toddler, please get out of here. <laughs> Mommy's gotta get red, ready for work. What the, toddler can check the dust level too. <laughs> and I, see, and she's already done. So that's just been sped up a bit, which is good. Um, you don't have a stove, Deli. Oh yeah, I don't have a stove. <laughs> um, how long does brushing the teeth take? Let's see, let's go over here. Oh, can she brush her teeth? I was on the wrong one. There we go. So in normal speed, I can't really tell how quick they are. But there we go. She's already done. Um, did you test the trade improvements yet? No, not yet. Oh God. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Um, let me help you out here. <laughs> so I think we can use that tile. Um, so yeah, I feel like, I think in the next bunk bed update, you're going to be able to put desks and couches under them. Like, just by the wording, I assume that's okay. Is it bad that the new color swatches don't matter to me? I never saw the posters as, oh, look, a white footballer, or, or a straight couple. It's cool, just I never thought of it. Well, I mean, I don't think it's something I really thought about either. But I'm sure there are people who probably did think about it and we should think about it. So it's definitely a really good thing to see. But no, I, I think it's okay that you didn't realize. It's not like you're a terrible person because we've all been brought up in a society like this. So it's okay. But I just think they look so good. Let's just admire them for a moment. It just makes my heart happy, you know? Um, I understand, but for someone like me, POC, it's nice to see more than only white people. Of course. It's important. Absolutely. It's all, it's all positive. So, um, yeah, I think that's all for the update. Uh, thanks for coming to the stream, you guys. <laughs> it is very important. Yes, very Um, yeah, so thanks for coming to the stream. Now, I was going to build a house. I thought we'd just build a house with bunk beds. You know, you just put heaps of bunk beds in there. I was thinking of doing like a holiday house. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me see if I can get my game working. No, my game, my, my window working. OK. 
Okay, any moment now. There we go. Sorry, I'm just doing something to the side of my screen that you guys can't see. But essentially, I'm going to record this build for YouTube, so I just want to film it. Just to give you guys the back end information. Bunk bed house. Maybe it should be a bunker house. Get it? Get it? <laughs> God, we're so funny. Hey, Kaylin, how you doing? Um, Charlie Parsley, thank you so much for the two months. Ali for the 15 months. Wow, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, we could probably. I was just thinking, we could do a tiny home. Do we want to do, um, what do I want to do? No, I think I'll do kind of like a small holiday home type of deal. Uh, how's therapy going? Good, I had therapy yesterday. The week, last week's therapy, I came out feeling really good. Yesterday's therapy, I, I feel bad. <laughs> But I just was really drained. So yesterday was a bit of a burnout day. Um, I think I'm still tired from it too, actually. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't really ending stream. I was just kidding, it was just a JK. Uh, Mid-century burner, thank you so much for the one month. Little dicker for the bitsies, appreciate you. Uh, Dario Sims, thank you so much for the four months with Prime, Prime dedication right there. And forever say, hey, thank you so much for the two months listening to you while I'm cooking, checking in from Iowa. We stand, Iowa. You took a three hour nap after your therapy yesterday. I totally get it. I should have napped probably, but I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so I'm thinking we make like a, a cute, Holiday farm barn house. What happens if we did like mm, classic kind of barn house deal? Mm -hmm. I'm popping up probably. Yeah. Your hair? No, I could have Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. Have fun. Don't be a stranger. Hey, Bye, Joms. Joms. <laughs> I'm from Iowa and cooking as well. Oh my gosh, we stand Iowa cooking. Oh my gosh. Seriously there, oh my gosh. Okay, I was just looking up some barn pictures because I just needed to remember what the roof line looks like. So I'm thinking we do, like, I don't want to make it too big, but I want to do like a little farm house that is gonna be full of bunk beds because it's like a holiday house. You can invite the kids down. You can invite their friends down. And it's just gonna be a beautiful scene. I think I didn't make this big enough. <gasps> oh my gosh, and did you guys see the David Dobrik? Dobrik? I don't even say his name properly. Um, T? It's like, the dramas, the YouTube dramas are just out of control. I started watching the H3 live stream and then I was like, nope, nope. Mustn't get into this or else I'll never make it to stream. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. Okay, this looks like a really weird barn shape. <laughs> there we go. That's more barn like. Um, tea time. I'm glad the Sims community doesn't have drama. Yeah. I mean, not like we don't have the same kind of drama by any means, like not personal drama between YouTubers or anything. Everyone's like, I love that person. <laughs> Maybe we should make some drama. James and I could make YouTube drama. How do I do this corner piece? Why isn't this working for me? 
Oh, I see. Um, the fact that you say you don't notice race in itself is a trait of white privilege. No, I do notice it. I can see how that's been taken the wrong way. So I apologize if it sounded like that. My point was, whenever I've used those posters in the game, it hasn't been something that has upset me. But since changing it, it's, it's difficult to explain it in a way that isn't going to, that's honest, but also not going to hurt people's feelings. I think because we've been brought up seeing the same kind of thing everywhere for so long and all of these changes are recent, it's true that a lot of people haven't noticed things that we should and it's very important that these changes are made so we are more aware. But also, at the same time in saying that, like seeing those changes come into my game is just... Like, like I said, it means a lot more than bunk beds because it is so important. But it is difficult to explain. Um, but I definitely don't mean it in a, in a horrible way. Yeah. Oh, you don't think that comment was aimed at me? I don't know if it was aimed at me, but I just want to make that clear because it's, it's, it's difficult to articulate. Yeah. But I'm all for it, and I think it's extremely, extremely important. And I'm glad to see it. Really happy to see it. All right. With peace and love, exactly. Um, yeah, but it's a tricky one. It's hard to talk about because you just want to... It's just that, that constant push and pull of trying to be honest at the same time as... Explaining things. I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> you think for the barn we should have this? Okay, so in terms of the, the actual rooms, the reason why I'm doing a barn is because I thought it would be fun to kind of have like a, a mezzanine level. Or well, maybe a couple of mezzanine levels to kind of do more with different levels and reflect that kind of two level bunk bed look and feel. Your, a friend of yours lives in a restored barn and she loves it. That would be the coolest place to live. Be so cool. You can use the jars, maybe. I don't know. But I was thinking of putting like ladders in here and then having the bunk beds as well. How many beds should we have? Like I always see on Airbnb, they have the classic like four and four in one room. Wait, where am I in terms of? That's a little far back. Okay, I need to get some light in here because I can't see a thing. Okay. There we go. Forty bunks? Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, a bowling alley? No. Oh god, no, not a bowling alley, sir. The streams have been obsessed with bowling alleys. <laughs> and I'm like, we're, we're not doing bowling alleys. But now I feel like I have to do one because we've spoken about it so much. Cupcake machine, no cupcake machine. <laughs> I still have a bad bowling alley, no. Boiling Ellie. 
You guys, no matter if I ban it, you guys are still gonna come up with ways of saying, saying it and communicating it. I'm just gonna put some reclaimed wood in here for now, just to give us the barn feel. Actually, in terms of ladders, By the way, do basement swimming pools work for you guys or is the animation broken? broken? Oh, I don't know. The last time I did a pool in a basement, it worked fine for me. Whoa, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> that's a lot. Pardon me. Also, how high is this wall height? This is, oh no, that's the lowest one. Just thinking it would be cool to kind of I don't think we'll have enough room, but. Yeah, 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 okay. I have an idea. I was gonna box in the room. Kind of bit like this. And then put, do like a double ladder. This might look bizarre, but. You know, we'll give it, we'll give it a bell. <laughs> and do we want to go, f I feel like part of me wants to go for the industrial look. Like doing this kind of thing. But then maybe we should go the full blown like farmer look. Oh, so that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's maybe get rid of one of these. That's gonna look weird. Um, You'll definitely get seasons. Seasons is a good time. Do the modern farmhouse look inside to match? Hmm. Well, we can probably do both. We can probably do... Like we can make our central box into kind of the reclaimed wood. And we can put some bunk beds over here. Or maybe, hmm. I don't know you guys, maybe we do the bunk beds up here. No, I think the bunk bed should be downstairs and we do a master bed up here. What do you guys reckon is the best bed for a farmy looking bed? Maybe this one? Farmy modern bed? Are the sparkles from dust the, bust the dust? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Do some outdoor retreat. Oh yeah, 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 that's a good idea. We can like, or even this one. I mean, that's kind of cool. Actually, I think I want something even more smooth. Oh, this. Maybe we go for the kind of Pinterest look. Yeah, let's go Pinterest style. Oh, 
Oh, but then we don't have the nice like contrast of the dark and the light, which I kind of love. Yeah, no, no, let's let's keep it. Oh, I know. We can use like the white wood up here. Oh, what about like? Yeah, yeah. that'll look cool. I wish we had more dark swatches for this bed, actually. Sleek slumber bed. Oh, wait. That's so funny. I was thinking of Sleek Slumber as like a Maxis pack. And I was like, wait, which one came with that? And I was looking for it. I'm like, why isn't it here? But that's because it's CC. <laughs> it's my little ticker. <laughs> but I was fully like, what? Where is it? Why is this bed like so? Wait, what's going on here? It's something weird. Wait, I did something. If we put a window in, it might fix all of our problems. The cats and dogs one is a dark wood. I don't know what happened upstairs. Did I mess up the roofing? Did we delete a wall? Do you guys know what happened then? No, that roof is still in there. Maybe you removed the ceiling. I don't think I did. It looks like it's all still there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do. Oh, that'll do it. Cool. No worries. Also, barns have a lot of, like, these more traditional barns have a lot of windows with shutters on them, right? Hey, thank you so much for the two months. We could do a red barn. Hmm. What song did you use when you made the last Orphan Challenge episode? Oh God, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to go back and watch it. Um, I use Epidemic Sounds for videos, which is basically a website that gives you royalty-free music that you can use. barn doors hmm there's also the debug barn doors actually so maybe we should try those uh bb dot show hidden objects bb dot ignore game play unlux and diamonds oh i think i did that wrong Wrong. BB dot ignore gameplay unlocks and there we go. Um I don't know why, but I'm feeling a green barn today, are you? We can do a green barn, maybe. I mean I'm all for the green at the moment. <laughs> but like I love the color green at the moment. I wish we could make like all of this glass or like these panels glass. That would be cool. Dusty green, yeah. Well, I was, the green that came to mind was this green, but that is like really green. Like is, 
I feel like a more muted green would work better because that's like sheesh. <laughs> Oh, you like it, you guys? I, f I don't know about that one. I feel like it's a little... More like this green, I was thinking. Like a bottle green. Or a dusty green. What's a dusty green? I always forget about these. Oh, this is very barn. This is very Bond like. They even go like full blown red Bond. Whoa! It's like Thomas the Tank Engine red Bond. Yes! <laughs> okay, and then, well, if we do that, should we. Aren't the Bond roofs usually like metal? I guess it can be anything, really. Maybe a dark red. Oh, there's the match. It's kind of. See, this looks like it's like a toy barn. Okay, I think this isn't really working for us. I, I think the original roofing we had looked the best. Who, you know what? I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna do like a simple barn. It'll be really quick and easy. No, this this takes time. The other option is that I think one of the issues is this. Actually, I think these look really bad. I think that's actually our biggest problem right now. <laughs> Let's like this. The other option is we go for this. And then we do like dark brown windows and shutters. Okay, we need to find some shutters. The fake columns have been tossed. Exactly. I mean, what are our, what are our shutter options? We got this one. We got this one, which I don't think is quite right doesn't look very rustic does it does it um, yeah maybe these oh there's this one but is this a thing on bonds does some bonds have windows like this <laughs> oh, thanks, Lana, with peace and love. I, I like that. Is it just me that yawned when Deli yawns? Yawns are very contagious. Lizzy, thank you so much for the seven months. Maybe make the railing brown to match the windows. Good idea. Good idea. God, we haven't even got to the bunk beds yet, and it's a bunk barn. Definitely the circular window for the top. I was thinking the little window with shutters at the top, like, you know, the little square one? I think it's a base game one. I know if you guys know the one I'm talking about. Um, or this, this is cool. This in red. This one. Okay, which windows are we doing? Are we doing the crosshatch ones or these plain ones? I think this one here looks the best in the middle. 
maybe this one can be used as well. Oh, there we go. I was like, what about the other side? <laughs> this barn is so cute. Yay. It's just like meant to be a nice holiday. Holiday home barn. Okay, maybe we can use the bigger one on the sides. Doesn't Snowy Escape have a barn looking sliding door? Yes, that's what I was thinking of, but I thought it was in debug mode. Maybe it's in the higher wall height. Oh, it is. Now that's a door door. I think that's the one. If we did that, the barn would have to be taller, which I think isn't quite right. There is some kind of debug door. There is something like there's a lot of farm items in debug. So let's just go there and pull out whatever. Because there's definitely some things we can work with. Like a pond. Love that. That's like a massive pond though. Are all the ponds the same size? I think they are different sizes. So I don't think we're going to be able to fit one of these. F debug Batu archway. Yes. <laughs> I love the arch from Batu. That that is But why is it in debug? It's such a good arch. Hope you had a nice day. I wish you could see this. Aw, Luz Daza, thank you so much. Did you take a look at the CC pack with farming stuff I mentioned a while ago? Which one was that, Cherry? Was that Harry's farm one? Or was that the one with like the chicken coop? Because I haven't looked at the chicken coop one. But I've looked at the country, Harry's country stuff pack. What is this? Oh, the turtle hatching barrier. Should we have a turtle hatching area? No, the one with the water pump and stuff. Wait, let me find the name. The water pump and stuff. I'm not sure. <gasps> Should we have some of these lying around? Because they like make their own fizz. Tommy granite tree, yes. Okay, where's our farmer things? Brown ledging around the roof? Ooh, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. I'm just gonna, you know, pop a couple of these trees around if we can. Oh, can't place that one, interesting. Wait, why can we place some of them on the dirt, but the, what? It's so weird. Only really, some of them can be placed straight down. <gasps> pineapple! I know why, but I feel like we need a random pineapple. The Alter Eco Utility Set, it's called. Alter Eco Utility. Let me just see. Oh, it's by Ravashin? No, I definitely haven't downloaded this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember looking at this when you shared it with me. That's right. And they have the the water tower that actually works. That was a cool, that was cool what they did. Yes. No, I remember looking at that after you told me about it, but I never actually downloaded it. Okay, I can't I can't see the, the barn door in debug. Maybe it's in decoration. No, it'll be in show all I don't think I even have the right cheat on. I don't think I have the right cheat on. 
Because I should be seeing a lot more. Oh, actually, no, we're, sc we're scrolling for quite some time. <laughs> Definitely got sure hidden object. I think I've only got sure hidden objects on. Oops. I'm just gonna quickly put this in and pretend that it was always there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, now we're gonna find some farm stuff. <laughs> this music playlist i know we play like every stream but i just love it the mods you guys must get over it actually chat you must get over it. <laughs> get over it too sometimes here we go i was like why is nothing showing up for me today scrolling for days yeah i love the music wait i can't hear the music i love the sound of your scroll wheel so do i I'm just gonna place a couple of these things around. This is what we're wanting. This is when everything starts looking like a real farm. You ever wish you lived on a farm? Well, you, now you can. Wow, look at that fence. That is a nice fence. Okay. These are some fence pieces we can definitely use at the back here. Concentration face. Okay, we've got a little bit of an area back here. And I promise we will get to the bunk beds, which is what we were originally meant to do. What about this? Are we feeling this? Not really. The columns don't match in color, by the way. Oh, you're right about that. There we go. Thanks for letting me know. So what are you guys up to today? How are you guys doing whilst I scroll for farm things? Tell me about yourself. Tell me something I don't know about you that makes you unique. It's big build up to bunk beds. Oh yeah. I don't know what the trade improvements are. I've been doing yoga every day since January 1st. Wow, that's Fantastic. You have litter trained a free roaming house bunny. That's cool. It's cool that you can litter train a bunny. Why can't you litter train dogs? Or is it just their poo and wee is too big for a little a litter tray to be practical? You wear colored contacts every day, but no one notices. Hey, Mystic, thanks for the prime sub. Oh, Elsa, that's, that's kind of a worry that now you feel like you can see too well, because how were you driving beforehand? <laughs> Chipotle delivers me the wrong order. Oh. Well, that's good, Susie. What kind of um, yoga app do you use? I would 
because I, I keep saying that I would like to do yoga. I think it would be really good for anxiety. I mean, I've done a bit of it before. I've taken classes before, but it's definitely not implemented into my daily routine. I like these little Christmas trees and I'm here for them. They're so cute. Oh no, LSA, that sucks. I'm sorry. How's the house hunting going? Um, it's hot. Uh, it's kind of a bit hard at the moment just because the market's a bit crazy here, but it's, yeah, it's going okay. We're, we're struggling to move though. Um, we've applied for a couple of houses to lease and um, we didn't get them. But I think also, like obviously if you have someone applying who doesn't have a pet and then someone who's applying with a pet, you're probably gonna pick the person without a pet. So I think having a dog probably makes it a bit more difficult too. Um, which is fine, it's gonna take a bit longer. But luckily we're not rushing to get out of here, so that's okay. But um, my real estate agent here, he emailed me like the other day and was like, oh, um, just wondering if you wanna, like what you wanna do with your lease. And I was like, that's kind of early for him to be asking. I was like, oh no, what happens if he watches my streams <laughs> and has been hearing us talk about it? Yoga with Adrian, okay. Yoga with Adrian, I'm gonna write that down. Uh, I've made three days a week working out and the, it's the third week in a row this week, yay! You gotta make it to the one month. The one month, it's like getting over the three week hurdle. That's the hardest part, I reckon, when you're trying to keep something up. I often get to three weeks and then for whatever reason, I find an excuse not to do it. So I'll be really impressed if you, if you are able to. Wow, look at this water tower. Now, is that what Ravashin used to create Functional Dew Collector? Yeah, so this is the one from the game. Interesting. Interesting. And I'm really not seeing any barn doors. The only reason we opened this up was for a barn door, and I feel like there is no, there are no barn doors. What was I thinking? Uh, Cryptobag, oh, we have a stream baby, everyone. That's exciting. Yay, Crypto. Thank you so much for subscribing. Happy nine months. Let's name it Daisy. That's beautiful. Yay. Um, Beth loves you. Thank you so much for the one month. And Mystic Nymph, thank you so much for the prime sub. Uh, Lizzy for the seven months, almost Twitch baby due date, yay! And Lithanium, thank you so much for the five months. Really good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, your posts are always so entertaining. I I feel like I stop on my timeline to read your posts a lot. <laughs> uh, Shay Weiner, Weena, thank you so much for the twelve months. Um, I was watching your uploaded streams of Two Point Hospital and I'm waiting for it to download on my Switch. Yay! Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, I enjoyed that stream. I'm actually like pleasantly surprised some of you guys have been requesting for more Two Point Hospital. Um, so hopefully we can do some more soon. What am I making? I'm making a farmhouse. Like it's, it's a holiday house. Um, for your sims to go to. The only thing is, I thought there was a barn door, but there isn't for this wall height. And now I'm like, I don't know what to do. 
So we're having some barn, a bit of a barn door situation um, that we're trying to solve. I mean, maybe we just go a single door, you know? Oh, what about the laundry day door? I think someone said that earlier and I completely did not get the memo. Like this. Why don't we just do that? 65, 50. Oh, it's a yellow door. I don't know why, but I love that. Um, cats and dog door placed next to each other. I mean, that's another option. Or there's, nah, that one's a bit too industrial, I think. I don't know. Part of me thinks even though we stand the laundry day door, part of me feels like this looks more fitted with the house. Like it fits. Yeah, no. Also, we really should have a door here, but then the window doesn't fit above the door. Oh, it's a crisis. Hmm. Jules, thank you so much for the mother trucker. 36 months. Whoa. Jules, thank you. That's that's a long time. Wait, I gave you laughing Bobo instead of love Bobo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> 36 months. No, thank you. There's bunk beds. Yeah, Lottie. There's bunk beds. We're about to um, actually put them in the build. But yeah, huge news. I do. Bunk beds are funny because... They did take a long time, didn't they, to put bunk beds in the game? <laughs> like, I wonder why. I know this is the question everyone's been like, yeah, well, obviously, Deli, but I just want to know why. Maybe because there's just so many things to do. Maybe it just never, like, it's something they wanted to do, but it never reached the top of the priority list. It was like, oh, we'll wait until this, or we'll wait until this. I feel like bunk beds would have been really, um, really good to put in a stuff pack as like the featured item. Oh, I have so many questions. I wish I could be a fly on the wall. Like, you know how sometimes you just put off the cleaning? Like, say, you know you have to mop the floors, but you keep, but you always go for like emptying the dishwasher first. Maybe they just did other things, even though they knew they had to empty the, the dishwasher, you know. This has to be symmetrical, doesn't it? <laughs> when we ask for it, it takes a while for them to give it to us. Yeah, I mean, it does take time for them to create stuff. And actually in the live stream, they did, uh, they kind of mentioned, I've never really heard them make this statement before, but they made a point of saying, hey, sir, we just want to let you know that we're hearing everything you guys are asking for, like all of your requests. We know that you're asking for cars. We know that you're asking for, you know, other things. And we just want to let you know that we, we hear it. It's at the top of our list. Um, but it's going to take us time to meet your expectations and ship something that's of high quality. And I was like, it's really good that they said that, I think, because usually the transparency isn't there. I do like honesty. Honesty's the best policy. Okay. Honesty is always the best policy. Except when it's not. They heavily mention generations. Heavily? Would we say heavily? I 
I think I think it got more than one mention. I think it, I think it did. But I, I wouldn't I don't know I wouldn't take it as they're gonna make a generations. Definitely wouldn't take it that way. I'd take it more as they know that that's what people are wanting. Sky, thank you so much for the two months with Prime. How are you doing? Thank you for the support. Appreciate that. Should we do like this little harder hole? Harder. Fun. Harder hole. Maybe we make this into like a canopy. Oh, do you think the canopy they added to base game will look good here or not really? I don't know. I feel like a, a canopy. Maybe it's called a canopy, actually. Can oh no, canopy candle. I thought that's a canopy canoodle, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Let's try. This is just a fun build. This isn't for an LP. At to this stage. Mmm, cold tea. Raylian, thank you so much for the 10 months. I'm going good. How are you? Thank you for that support. Almost at the one year. Saturn times. Oh, this is it. The pagola. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can definitely work. Um. Hmm. Question is, which way do we put it? Uh, I mean, I like it this way, but the front's this way, so we might have to just go. What do you guys think? I have yet to use that. It's so big. It, it is quite a statement. Well, maybe it sits out from the house a bit. Looks good the other way. I thought it, I thought it looks better this way. Just because it looks like it's built off that. Oh, wait, no, we can't do it that way because it clips in. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to use it this way. I wish I could go like that, but then it's going to stick through the wall. That'll do. That'll do me. You got the, fir the first dose of the, z of the thing today? Nice. Good one. You should get yourself a jelly snake. I wonder what Daniel Radcliffe's up to these days. Actually, you know what? You know who I wonder what they're up to these days? Good old Ron. Didn't he get an ice cream van? And drive around in it. What did my boy Rupert end up doing? <laughs> Why don't you have CC in your game? Uh, just because there's been an update today and it was not working with the update. I think this is a really cute button. He became Ed Sheeran. Oh, is it the same person? Right, that makes sense now. I always thought they looked so alike. It's not, it, it really isn't the same person, you guys, just in case anyone thinks it is. Um, He just got Instagram like four months ago to show his baby. Oh, proud dad. Oh my gosh, I really need to see a gyner. I say this every stream. But the thing is, I had to do the psychologist first, and then I'll see the, the gyno as the next thing. He got that HP money and ghosted with it. I would do the same. <laughs> he was like, I'm done. I'm going to be a dad now. I mean, good for him. I feel like that's a good way to go. Because then you don't have to 
I mean, I guess you'll always have people recognizing you wherever you go, but you can kind of escape fame a little bit. That's cute. Um, I wonder how much they got for Harry Potter. I know. I mean, obviously a lot. I mean, maybe not that much. No, they obviously made a pretty penny. I mean, the thing is, they often disclose how much people made working on certain films, but I'm like, how do they actually know that? Like, is it public domain knowledge in the US? Like, how do you actually know how much someone has made from something? Or is it just guessing? Is it not common to go to the gyno annually? Um, well, you are reminded to get a pap test or whatever it's called. Um, but now you only have to do that like once every five years, I think. So, I mean, I like to think I'll still go more frequently because I just, it's a good thing to do. But yeah, I, I don't know if we really... Going to the gyno isn't like a routine thing here. At least not in my friendship group. Okay, it's probably a good thing to do though. Um, in your country... Oh, the Shane, thank you so much for the four months. Rupert Grint made approximately 70 million. Yeah, that's enough never to have to work again. I can I can see why. You know, that's all good. <laughs> but how do they know? They could be way off. You could have made double that or half of that. And I wonder if like if any of them share the same accountants like how the heck do you find an accountant to manage that kind of money you have to find a really good accountant see i think these things through really literally like how do you so good to have all that money but how do you manage all that money i guess you hire people but then how do you find the people do you think the people in hollywood just tell you who to go to I gotta be the most stressful thing ever, and it's just never really spoken about. It's like the unspoken. Or maybe it's never spoken about because it's not a problem. You know what? I'm British. I'll just go ask my boy Daniel Radcliffe. He'll know. <laughs> Elsa is British. Yes. Wealth management firms. You get someone who literally helps manage their wealth. He talked about it on a podcast. He was freaked out by the money. I know. I always wonder that too. Like how, who out here is doing the Kardashians taxes? I know. Like how do you, you have to have like a whole team of people. Like, because they, what, they say that, like, they make hundreds of thousands of dollars, like, every 30 minutes or something, or five minutes. I don't even know. But you got to be managing, like, $200,000 coming in every five minutes. You're going to need someone on 24-7. <laughs> I'm a publicist in Hollywood. There's a whole system and network. Is that? Okay. Because I'm like, geez, how do they do it? And the other thing that I'm like, how do they do it is like privacy wise, how do people manage to stay hidden when they go to appointments? And like, honestly, if I went to get waxed, like if I got a Brazilian done and I was like an A-list celebrity, I'd be so scared of my beaver being leaked online like being sold somewhere for millions of dollars 
Like, how do they manage that? Impossible, thank you. <laughs> or like, if I have to go to the doctors, everyone will see me walking in. I suppose the doctors come to you. Do you just live in your house and never go anywhere? Is that what they do? How does it work? <laughs> I want to know. Why'd you call it a beaver? Cause I don't know. This is awkward to say, but I'm like a 12 year old. I can't say the word vagina on stream. You'd be so scared a doctor would leak information. I know, NDAs. I mean, people break NDAs all the time. Maybe their NDA is like Hector. <laughs> I know Diego. <laughs> if they do that, their career is over. No one would trust them. Hmm. Okay. See, these are the things I think about. I honestly think at that level, it would just you'd be so housebound a lot of the time. Like you, there'd be the travel side when you when you have to work and you fly around the place and you go to everything you need to do and live in hotels. But I think you'd just be in your home all the time because it's too, like, too hard to get out. Yeah, maybe Sarah. Thanks, independent woman. That's really sweet. Yay, you're building your own new crust. Nice. I think celebrities are probably pretty lonely. They don't know who they can trust. Yeah, I think it'd be really, really tough. Like, obviously, oh, it's not tough having all that money. But, like, there's, I think it comes at a big price to make a big load of money with a big load of fame. Jeez, I'd be seeing my penny four times a week. <laughs> What's hipper in other countries? I love interesting converse like this. It's just like the unspoken. And why do people never talk about it? Oh no. Oh God, I thought I deleted the floor here and I was like, oh no. Like these are the interviews I wanna hear. How do you, how do you get a coffee in the morning? Who does your groceries? Do you have like, does your assistant go to the groceries? Do you have someone you hire as a grocery shopper? And when you do go, the gross, go to do the groceries, is it because you wanna be photographed that day or you like have a really cute outfit and you're like, you know what? I think I'll go out today. I look cute. Housekeepers and stuff. How do they order takeaway and answer the door? Exactly, I've thought about this too. Like, do you go meet the Uber eater at the door? Do they buy their homes outright or pay mortgages? Exactly. These are the questions I want. I want to interview like a Hollywood accountant or something. Yeah, same mythics. 
Their assistants probably order the food for them and gets it too. So is your like assistant living at your house then? Cause like what happens if your assistant's gone home for the day? What happens if you wake up in the middle of your night and you're like, I really need cheese fries. <laughs> I really need a taco. I really need a 3 a.m. kebab, but dang it, my assistant's not here. I don't want to answer the door, but then maybe you select leave outside door. But then they need to like get into your gated community. So do they leave it with the gate person? Is the gate person there 24 hours? The logistics confuse me. It would just make life so difficult. A personal chef will make you a taco, but what happens if you don't want the personal chef's taco? What happens if you want like a real dirty, Taco Bell Taco. Not saying Taco Bell's dirty. I enjoy Taco Bell. This is blowing my mind. I know. Do they even deliver food to the gated communities? I don't know. How does a gated community get food? Do gated communities have like a grocery service where they do the groceries for the whole community? Most celebs have night nurses for their babies. So I imagine they have someone on call for overnights. They have night nurses? Wait, so if their baby wakes up crying, someone else deals with it so they can sleep? Dang. I guess a lot of celebs wouldn't rely on that. Like they would want to do that whenever they can, but sometimes if they have like work, they can't. But I guess there would also be some people who are like, oh, I'm just never gonna do it. <laughs> That's funny, Renee's cookie jar. Or maybe the security guard gets it for them. Actually, probably a security guard. Well, that's the other thing. What happens if you want to go somewhere and you're like, oh, dang it, I have to bring my bodyguards. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one, you guys. What happens if you're an A-list celebrity and you get diarrhea? while you're out or at an event. I mean, at the events, they probably have like a VIP bathroom, but is there like only one toilet in there or does the bodyguard be like, sorry, you know, Katy Perry's in there right now. You can't go in because she's having to do a poo or something. Like, do they not let anyone in? And then if it's smelly afterwards, do they just like, like if I was an A-list celebrity and I had to, go to the toilet and I was a bit smelly, I would like stand there for 15 minutes before letting anyone else in because I, I wouldn't want to be the smelly celebrity. <laughs> Sorry, Katy Perry's in there right now. She's delivering some sweet treats. Exactly. 